I'm literally eating burritos for weight loss. Just look how amazing that looks. In a small pot, we're gonna start on some tomato sauce. The next half of the liquid is gonna be some water. Add your washed short grain rice. Nice hefty pinch of salt. And then when it comes to a rigorous boil, we're gonna cover. Drop this to a simmer, which means low. And we're gonna let it go for about 20, 25 minutes. Set an alarm in 20 minutes. One last note, if the pot stays on high for way too long, the rice is gonna stick with the tomato sauce on the bottom and it will destroy it. So as soon as they're in a light bubble, turn it down to a low. To control how much sugar and random additives are in our taco seasoning, we're just gonna make our own and I'm telling you, it makes that much of a difference. In a bowl, we're gonna go in with some garlic powder, lots of black pepper, a small amount of cumin, a tiny bit of dried oregano, and we do chili powder and finish with some paprika. I don't like pre-mixing in the salt. I like to salt the protein as I'm cooking it so I make sure it's the perfect amount. I also feel like there's a lot more flavor that comes out in comparison to the pre-packaged taco seasoning. The last component that I wanna just get going before I start on actually cooking the beef is some black beans. Very simply add the beans into a saucepan, cover them in clean water, sprinkle in some cumin, garlic powder, salt them up and bring them to a boil. Now we're just gonna drop them to a low and let them cook down and I like to almost cook them until they're smushy, but make them to your desired preference. Now in a large skillet, we're gonna oil it down. Rice is ready. For the rice, I'm gonna kill the heat and just let it vibe on the side. When the pan is screaming hot like you, we're gonna go in with our low-fat ground beef. This is a 93.7, but you could even go lower if you'd like. You see how all these small calorie substitutions are making such a big difference? We got lean ground beef. We added no oil or butter to the rice. Not that butter and oil is bad. We're just saving a little bit on the calories. On a high heat, continuously give the meat a breakdown. We generously go in with our taco seasoning. And then now we're gonna salt this accordingly because remember, we did not add it to our taco seasoning. See how the ground beef is nice and brown now, but it's still nice and glossy and not dry. This is when I like to stop cooking it. Kill the heat. We're gonna toss on a little hot sauce. And then to make it creamy and dreamy, we're gonna go in with some low fat Greek yogurt. You are not even gonna taste it because there's so many beautiful seasonings. Keep in mind the heat is killed so the yogurt doesn't curdle. Also, you don't have to add the yogurt. It just adds a little protein and creaminess and I enjoy it. Regular ground beef works just fine. The toppings on the burrito are very much up to you. Fresh vegetables are a great way to add brightness and flavor. And they're also just super low on calories. I'm just gonna shred down some lettuce until it's as fine as you. And the tomato is gonna get the same type of vibes. Okay, it's time to assemble. Large burrito flour tortilla. Wait, who am I? You can't lose weight eating that many carbs. You could use whatever tortilla base that you want. It does not have to be this large. When I am tracking my calories, I like to eat extremely large meals so I could actually feel full. So yes, I'm able to lose weight doing this. Before you start crying, I am not forcing you to make this. But I'm gonna spike my insulin eating carbs. I'm just documenting how I do it. We're gonna start off with a base of rice. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. Generous amounts of creamy beef. Eight ounces to be exact. Finish with your low-fat cheese. And then just our lettuce and tomato. Okay, this is definitely not gonna roll. We're gonna fold in the side. Act like we work at Chipotle. Everything from the top. Tuck, 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 tuck. And roll. She's a beauty. And I'm toasting it seam side down to make sure it doesn't fall on me. Okay, I learned this hack off the internet. I don't know exactly who, but it's truly genius for meal prep. Assemble the rest of your burritos on some aluminum foil without adding any of the fresh vegetables. Roll them up. And then just tightly wrap them in the aluminum foil. And then you could toss this in the freezer and air fry it whenever you want. It's just a genius idea. We give it a cross section. And now we have final. Prada. Absolutely incredible. And as always, Nabsmillah. Wow. Every bite is truly scrumptious. 